Hi there. Thanks for joining me. My name's Rick Yon. Did you realize that Psalm 119 is the largest of all the Psalms in the Bible? And the reason it is so large is because it is made up of 22 Hebrew letters. Under each letter come eight verses. It's known as an acrostic psalm. And acrostic just means that you have a letter of the alphabet, then you have verses, then you have another letter, and you have more verses. There are a number of the acrostic psalms throughout the scriptures, but this is the largest because it includes all 22 letters of the Hebrew alphabet. So you have the letter Aleph, the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet, followed by eight verses. Bet, the second letter of the Hebrew alphabet, followed by eight verses. And as you read this psalm, you discover what that psalm and what the entire Word of God does for the person who is reading it. For instance, the psalmist says, and here's a prayer request that I think would be good for you to make as I make it on a regular basis as I'm ready to open up the scriptures. Open my eyes that I may see wonderful things in your law. Your statutes are my delight. They are my counselors. Boy, if you want some good counseling, if you want some great wisdom from above, this is where you can go for both that counseling and that wisdom. He goes on to ask the Lord, teach me, O Lord, to follow your decrees. Then I will keep them to the end. Give me understanding and I will keep your law. Direct me in the path of your command, for there I find delight. Oh, turn my heart toward your statutes, not toward selfish gain. Preserve my life according to your word and fulfill your promise to me, your servant, so that you may be feared or you may be reverenced. He goes on to tell us what the Bible, what the Word of God has done for him. He says, I have more insight than all my teachers, for I meditate on your statutes. I have more understanding than the elders, for I obey your precepts. You know, as you and I meditate on the scriptures and then we apply the principles of scripture to our lives, we will find that we have some very deep understanding of life itself. It gives us a perspective we call a biblical worldview where we are able to interpret life around us through the eyes of scripture. I encourage you to read Psalm 119 in fact, just to meditate on that psalm, read a verse or so, and then just think through, how does this work in my life? What does this really mean to my relationships and to the way I walk and to the way I speak? I hope that this was an encouragement. Thank you once again for, for joining me in this video. Thanks for watching.